Hello everyone, and today we'll be taking a look at some onion cells under the microscope. First, we're going to take a little blade, and we're going to cut a small section of the onion off. Now, we just need a small piece to fit on the microscope slide. Next, we're going to prep our microscope slide. We're going to take a blank slide here, and place a drop of iodine solution onto the blank slide. So just a drop will do. Just a tiny amount. And then now we're ready to peel the inner epidermis. So not the outer, but the inner epidermis of the onion cell. Now this is a little bit tricky as it is a very thin, translucent, membrane-like structure. So it will take some skill to uh, pry it from the side or from the inner side of the onion. So this is me trying again after filling once. Uh, gently peeling it from the side will help it come up and as you can see here it's very translucent very fragile a tiny piece uh, we're going to place that on the iodine solution right there now if it's curled a little bit don't worry it usually flattens out once it touches the iodine drop now we're going to take a cover slip uh, it's a square piece of plastic and we're going to lay it down on top of the onion layer and Notice I lay it down on one side and then slowly lower it on the other side. And this actually helps to avoid any air bubbles. And that's it. So you take the slide and you place it on a microscope. And this is what you will see under the microscope. Just regular cells, like a brick-like structure. And you will be able to see the cell membrane, the cell wall, and the nucleus. All right, now we're gonna take some cheek cells and view them on a the microscope. So you take a toothpick and you scrape your cheek, scrape the sides of your cheek in order to get a sample of cheek cells. Next, we're gonna take a drop of water and put it on a blank slide. So just a little drop right there on a blank slide. Yep, yep. Not too much, just a drop. And then we're gonna take the toothpick you just use to scrape your cheek cells in and put the tip, stir it a little bit, try and get those cheek cells into the water. Don't stir it too much though, because this will fragment the cells. So you don't want that to happen. Just make sure the cheek cells are in the water. Then you're gonna place a cover slip, again, place on one end and slowly lower on the other to avoid any air bubbles. So this uh, cheek cells have not been dyed yet and they won't be visible in the microscope because they have not been stained. So we're gonna use methylene blue solution and we're gonna put a drop of methylene blue just at the side. Well, spillage right there just at one side of the cover slip so sorry this happens sometimes so just a drop at the side of the cover slip i'm going to take a filter paper and you're going to put it on the other side of the cover slip and then absorb that moisture uh, towards you and you can see the dye slowly migrating to the other side of the cover slip. You realize that I'm tilting the slide a little bit as well to make it a little bit quicker. Um, this goes on for a while. Let me fast forward that for you. So if one filter paper is not enough, use another and just mop up all the excess methylene blue solution around it. You really don't want the slide to be wet when you put it under the microscope. So make sure it's dry on the sides, mop up all the extra, and then it's pretty much ready. So yeah, take that and put it under a microscope and this is what you should be seeing. Uh, it's very normal to have a lot of cell debris, cell fragments from maybe too vigorously swirling uh, your toothpick in the water. Uh, it's also very common to see cells that are stacked or clumped together because, well, that's what cells do. They kind of clump together to form a tissue. Uh, but very so often you can see one or two uh, whole cheek cells that look beautiful and you are able to see a darkly stained nucleus and its cell membrane. And yeah, aren't they beautiful? And that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.